Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. Today, I will help everyone systematically identify and solve HDMI problems. And the predicaments and solutions mentioned in this video apply to all HDMI related devices. The working principle of HDMI is to connect devices through a cable to complete the transmission of audio and video between devices, including inter device communication standards protocols and data. However, when the communication standards protocols of the device are not licensed to communicate with other devices, the result is that HDMI doesn't work. The most convenient way to solve this problem is to check the HDMI ports. Now I have a short HDMI cable at hand, connecting both ends of the HDMI directly to the output and input ports of the YOLO box. If you can see the video display on the interface, then the problem is not with the HDMI connection. If the video is not displayed, then the HDMI input may have a problem. This could be due to external dust or moisture, so you can clean the interface first. If the video window is displayed, but it stays on the loading screen, then please contact YOLO Live's technical support. The device you're connecting to might not support operating in 1080i. This means that the incoming 1080i video source might cause some compatibility issues. The way to check for this problem is to switch your device to 720p quality. If everything goes smoothly, then this problem exists. Different HDMI cables have varying usage conditions. Compared to a 10-foot or longer cable, a 6-foot or 2-meter cable is more suitable for 1080p 60fps video quality requirements. Additionally, some HDMI cables are actually directional, so please make sure the end connected to the YOLO box is correct. If there is no response after connecting, swap the two ends of the cable and connect again. And YOLO box can be used in conjunction with most video cameras on the market. However, there are a few exceptions that can't be directly recognized by YOLO box or can only provide a lower resolution. Known incompatible cameras include the Sony FS7, Nikon P1000, Olympus EM1 Mark III, and Canon's R5, R6, and 5D Mark IV. If your camera is not compatible with YOLO box, you could consider adding an HDMI splitter or an EDID emulator. Both the HDMI splitter and EDID emulator can effectively resolve the incompatibility issues between the YOLO box and the camera. If the video transmitted to the YOLO box is compressed, displays a blank screen, or has black borders, it's likely an issue with the device sending the video source, not the YOLO box. Some cameras themselves cannot provide a clean output. Thus, you can first check whether the output settings of the camera support the video quality you expect. What's more, if you encounter problems when using the physical ports of YOLO Box to output video, you need to check some settings. For YOLO Box Pro users, please switch the video output mode from HDMI output to display port or DP output. If you need to connect to a production monitor, I recommend you use the USB-C port and set the video output to DP output. In addition, you may need to reboot the device. There exist significant variances in video standards across the globe. The NTSC standard is employed in the United States, while the PAL standard is utilized in numerous other countries. While the United States operates with a refresh rate of 60 Hz, other countries, including those in Europe, use a rate of 50 Hz. The frequency is predominantly associated with potential light flickering in the video, but the differences between PAL and NTSC can lead to issues such as image compression, the appearance of black borders, and sound concerns. It's noteworthy that many cameras available today are compatible with both the PAL and NTSC standards, hence it's advisable to check your menus and set your camera to suit your needs. We've also noticed that some devices support the wireless HDMI format, mainly WHDI and wireless HD. If you are unable to send the video source from these devices to YOLO box, you can try to change the distance between the devices. Perhaps you will get the expected video transmission experience under short distance conditions. For long distance video transmission needs, 
you can consider using professional wireless HDMI devices. Considering RF interference, we don't know what other devices might be using the same frequency. Therefore, a device configuration that works in one location might not work in another. You can try to turn on the receiver first. Doing so might allow the receiver to recognize signals on different channels. In addition, you can also check product specifications and compatibility. There will be many technical differences among different wireless HDMI devices. Finally, to avoid interference between devices, please do not turn on too many wireless sources at the same time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactoyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 13735 812589. If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 13735 812589. Keep experimenting with these settings to find your perfect setup and happy recording.